song. This song is, is, uh, is done to the same tune which you just heard, um, but the words were written by me instead of by Master Yolo. Um, I was on my way to an event in Brindvalad, which is a, a barony in Amsteora, and I thought it would be fun to take one of Yolo's songs, he's, he's a good friend of mine and, and, a, and a wonderful fellow, and, and make a gentle parody of the man, because while he has many fine qualities, he also has, has many humorous qualities as well, his appearance being one of them, his codpiece being another. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I thought it would be, a, would be fun to do one, and, and, and a line came to me, and I thought that was well, and so I filed it away for future reference. And another line came to me, and so I had a quatrain, and I thought, well, this is what I'm good, and I'll, I'll file this away for future reference. Then suddenly, before I had left the city limits, there was an entire verse rolling around in my head. I said, well, I'd best write this down. And by the time I got to bring Willard, the song had written itself. And here it is. Down in Bryn Willard town lives a jolly old fellow whose figure is really a comical sight. Oh, his forehead is bald, and his eyes will amaze you, and his gold-covered codpiece is really quite bright. Oh, he wears baggy pants and a ragged old tunic. His boots give his tootsies a room with a view. <laughs> and he acts very silly, and he does antler dances and answers when summoned by the name of Master Moo. <laughs> now you have to understand, he and his lovely wife are very much in love with one another, and so they, they moo at one another. Moo. 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 Moving indeed. So we call him Master Moo instead of Mr. Moo. It used to be Mr. and Mrs. Moo, but since he got his laurel, he's now Master Moo. Now his real name is Yolo, Don Yolo Fitz Owen. His white scarf and laurel are both well deserved. For he'll build you a crossbow like those in museums or thrash you at swashbuckling without reserve. He's a shaper of wood and bone and leather, a shaper of hearts with a word to the wise. He has carved standing stones to remember the fallen, and he'll sing you a song to bring tears to your eyes. Oh, the great Selkie's bride, and the cruel last name Jenny, Corellia's lover, and Mervyn's gay flute, and the old standing stones, and a host of Welsh heroes spring once more to life when he picks up his lute. He's a craftsman, composer, a fool, and a fighter, a good friend to Benny. He'll come when you call, and he'll dance in the garden and sing in the moonlight like a nightingale piping in green forest hall. it for him that night, and though he tried his best to stop me, <laughs> I pressed on, even when he stuck both of his fingers in his nose. <laughs> and then he said he would sue me for libel, except that it was all true. 